Scott Mears with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development. We're making a short video on sweep net sampling in canola and what we're after is a, a sample of the population of the insects in the canola field and the reason we want to do that is to determine whether or not there are economic threshold levels of potentially damaging insects in the, in the crop. So um, we try very hard to work on a standardized sweep net sample technique. This is a standard net with a 15 inch diameter hoop and a three foot long um, handle. Um, the reason we use a standard is because if we use a smaller net or a shorter handle then, then the sweeps are not equivalent to one another. So a sweep net sample is an approximation of the, of the uh, population in the field. So what we're trying to do is trying to standardize how we sweep so that one person's sweep net sample is more or less equivalent to the next person's. So with that in mind, um, we do a complete 180 degree sweep. So all the way from my left hip to my right hip. And if you're sw sweeping back and forth, then all the way from the right back to the left. So um, the idea of the 180 is again, that's the standardized uh, way to sweep. Sometimes when you're sweeping you'll, act, you'll hit a gap in the crop and it's, it, it's not representative to sweep through empty air and you don't really get any, any reading there. So you can skip it by actually pulling the, the net up and just sweeping back and forth and the, the reason to do that is to keep whatever insects are in the net forced into the bottom of the net by the air movement. And then as soon as you hit the crop that's, that's good again past the gap you can just come back down to the, to the level of the crop and start sweeping again. So common mistakes when uh, sweeping, um, we often see people will swoop, so they'll actually only be contacting the, the crop at the bottom of the swoop and otherwise they're up in the air too high and they're not actually in the crop. Uh, another common thing is we see um, where a sweep nets uh, will not travel the full 180 degrees, so therefore we're not getting that full arc and we're not getting that same representative sample. Um, the other things that we run into is uh, not moving fast enough. Each sweep net pass needs to be in fresh material. So uh, you're supposed to be moving as you sweep and in between each sweep there needs to be travel as well so that each, each, uh, each one is fresh. Um, so we often see that people will not travel fast enough from one sweep to another or during their sweeps and therefore they won't be in fresh material. Um, way, a good way around this is to one-sided sweep so you work on your dominant side and then you take one or two steps and then do another sweep a whole time moving of course but that's, that's a good way around it especially if you're new to sweep netting because uh, it's, it's often hard especially in a tall crop to bring it back the other way. So that's a good way around. What we do now is we'll look at the contents of the bag. So we first we snap it down and then we turn it inside out, open it up. There's a honeybee escape in there. And then we work our way through this stuff. So we shake it off, make sure there's no insects on it. Work our way down. This is a typical sweep net sample with lots of material in it. So we get rid of the stems and the flower buds and stuff like that. 